Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Zero Point Energy Propulsion System, which is being made by forum user GagaX. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a very advanced science fiction based sort of propulsion system using infinite zero point energy, but with a very rusty sci-fi aesthetic, and for good reason. You may remember Gaga X. we've had uh, that user featured on the channel before with their Rusty Star Rockets mod, which we looked at quite a while back, and even though it definitely wasn't the usual sort of mod I take a look at because of the aesthetic to it, I actually really quite liked it because of its fanciful, sort of weird post-apocalyptic nature to it. I really did enjoy that. And this ZPE Propulsion Systems mod is actually meant to be a standalone expansion to Rusty Star Rockets, which if you remember was very much a hodgepodge thrown together semi-realistic rocket system where this one brings in that same rusted as aesthetic rather there we go pronouncing words but brings in a very much more advanced sci-fi engine to it which is interesting a little bit cheaty but still i kind of like it definitely i wouldn't use it on a serious playthrough of this game but for just screwing around I quite enjoy it. So let's jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at the parts. Now the first we're going to look at here is in storage tanks where we have the RSR Uncertainty Containment Chamber which will hold 144 quantum fluctuations and that is the fuel that is used by this particular mod which is um interesting but yes quantum fun fluctuations is what you're going to uh, be creating and uh, using to power your ships and for size comparison there is our uh, lovely mark 1-2 command pod and yeah i love <laughs> the strange aesthetic to this just like with the rusty star rockets mod it is that well rusted look but i love the extra little sci-fi features to it like the nice sort of neon-ish uh, window into the fuel tank you got the nice sort of question mark warning sign uncertainty hazard very cool I do like it indeed the model itself of course it's just a cylinder so it's not exactly the most impressive thing but I do enjoy the texturing on it now the next bit we're gonna have here is in the engine which is the RSR engine which takes those uh, <laughs> quantum fluctuations and then turns it into thrust and here we go here is the very cool looking strange sci-fi engine with that same uncertainty hazard logo on it a very cool look to it I do quite like it and the particle effect when you're actually running the engine is kind of neat again definitely not a serious engine to use in your serious playthroughs but fun it's just fun and the actual thrust for this thing is not exactly great but also eh, not bad either the max thrust is 777 kilonewtons minimum thrust is well zero and it does 777 engine isp whether it be I atmospheric or vacuum and for the propellant, it will use the quantum fluctuations at 20.394 per second and electrical charge at 24.926 per second and thankfully does have some gimbling range to it so you can control your ship with it and that's useful. Now the next section that we're going to be looking into and where the rest of the parts are for this mod is in utility. We're going to have to go to the second page here and we're going to have... A couple of interesting parts. Now, you may be wondering how we get those quantum fluctuations that we store in this tank and then subsequently use with the engine. Well, that's where these two pieces come in. Now, this is the quantum fluctuation extractor, which will just, you know, create quantum fluctuations at a rate of 5.2 per second. And if we look at that thing again, Definitely not a serious mod to use for your serious games, but it's just fun and entertaining for screwing around. And I kind of like the flashy particle effect. 
It's somewhat mesmerizing. But yes, that will basically create quantum fluctuations out of thin air to then be stored in the container, which will then be used to power the engine. Now, if you don't want one of these quantum fluctuation extractors on the nose of your aircraft, as that's what this little dome is intended for, there is also an inline one, which we have here, the X-2 extractor, and this one actually extracts slightly more quantum fluctuations per second. It will create 5.8 per second rather than 5.2, and it just nicely sits in line. Let's pop it right here. Whoop. There we go, and put the engine, and again, just amusing little particle effects, and actually, I really, really like the modeling on this thing. You got the cool little rings with st uh, struts attached on the inside, very, very cool indeed. I quite like and enjoy this part. And then the last piece that we have for this mod is a uh, Reactor R which is just a powerful electrical generator, and this will create 10 electric charge per second out of thin air. And I love the quote that's with it. If we knew what we were doing, it wouldn't be called research. But yes, there we go, a cool little reactor, which only does produce 10 per second. And if you remember, the engine uses like 24 per second, I believe it was. So you'd need a couple of these for a solid craft to actually continuously function, but even without full power, it can still be quite a useful engine and a little bit cheaty. So let me just run real quick through the order of operations here. Uh, you're going to have one of these uh, quantum fluctuation extractors, I had to remember the name real quick here, which creates quantum fluctuations. Those are then stored and the quantum fluctuation containment chamber, and then burned off, along with the electricity, in the RSR engine. So that is how this whole system works. And so let's take a look at a little craft that I made with this earlier, which is just a really crappy little thing, but completely functional. Uh, we have our electrical generator, we have our uh, quantum fluctuation extractor, our chamber, some crappy little fins I threw on there for no particular reason, and the engine. So let us go and launch this baby, and you'll see how it's kind of cheaty. <laughs> oh, again, a fun little mod purely for those odd, entertaining playthroughs that you may do. Definitely not meant for serious things. So let us activate our reactor here, which I like that it's uh, something or nothing. I do enjoy that. I think that's quite a amusing little thing. And again, speaking to the non-serious nature of this mod, so we are producing some electricity, we are producing quantum fluctuations, which actually it's already filled our quantum fluctuation tank. Very good, so let us throttle up, and away in three, two, one. And listen to that glorious sound. <laughs> That's why I was quiet there for a moment. I wanted you to hear the very weird sci-fi sounds that this engine produces, which just amuse me. Again, not really meant to be a serious mod. It's basically making the cliched sci-fi sounds that you get in atmospheric situations in crappy sci-fi movies. And I love that. I absolutely love it. And you may notice... We've actually burnt out all of our quantum fluctuations and our electric charge, but we actually are still going. Uh, that's one of the parts of this being kind of cheaty. Even after it does run out of electric charge and mono, or uh, not mono propellant, but quantum fluctuations, it's still technically always creating it because that generator is constantly producing 10 per second and the quantum fluctuations are being created by the quantum fluctuation extractor. Uh, I, don't, I forget the rate per second, but it's constantly being created, so the engine is constantly getting drip-fed quantum fluctuations and electric charge. So once you do officially run out of these resources and these are at zero, all of it's just getting hogged up by the engine, and so it still gets used, but at a much slower rate. So you do lose some thrust, but it still technically will go forever and ever and ever and never run out 
which is actually kind of the point of zero point energy. It's supposed to be an inexhaustible fuel source, uh, you know, theoretically, and this is just trying to do that. <laughs> So again, really not meant for a serious playthrough, but it's just fun. Now this was my crappy little test craft. I also made another that I want to try real quick. I haven't actually tried to fly this thing yet, but I've strapped a whole crap load of these engines together trying to see how well it would work. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, it's more or less the same thing as before, but with a lot more generators, a lot more quantum fluctuation extractors, and, well, five engines. So let's take a look at this, see if it actually flies. I have no clue, because I haven't tested this thing yet. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. If zero point energy can't save us, I just noticed that engine's way up there. So let us launch this baby in three, two, one sci-fi. Ooh, <laughs> listen to that. Oh god, it's out of control. It's out of control. Okay, okay. Well, I've found a problem with my craft. <laughs> Alrighty, well, yep. It's not gonna fly very well, but listen to those glorious sci-fi sounds. Oh, we're gonna crash. We are going to crash. <laughs> but who cares? We have sounds. And that, that's what counts, right? Right, guys? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has been the Zero Point Energy Propulsion System. Definitely a strange mod, but you know what? I love it, and I've had a lot of fun with it so far, even though it's very, very strange. And if you would like to try it for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description. As always, we're going to explode. There we go. And, uh, yeah, perhaps you can make a far better craft than I can. In fact, I bet you could. And if you do make any fun uh, aircraft with this particular mod, and hopefully the Rusty Star Rockets mod that goes with it, I would love to see them. Oh, another explosion. Look at that. <laughs> I would love to see them, so tweet me a picture, Google... Facebook, whatever social medias you use, I would love to see them. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and of course that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. <laughs>